In late October, we set off to Algonquin for a quick overnight trip, hoping to see the Tamarack's Golden Encore and put our new hot tent to the test. Following Highway 60 to our put-in, our route takes us down the winding turns of Sunday Creek, past Norway Lake, and on to our camp at Fork Lake. Join us as we experience the sights and sounds of late fall in Algonquin. We just arrived at our put-in. Was it after three o'clock in the afternoon? Four, probably. Yeah, uh, coming up to four o'clock. Fully loaded canoe. We've even packed in all of this wood. Maybe it'll take us an hour, hour and a half to get down to our campsite. And I didn't want to be chopping up wood when we get there. Oh. You thought it was a half hour. I'm anxious to get through this dam. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. There's a dam underneath this bridge that we're gonna have to somehow get over. Bon voyage! Well, it looks like it's three feet. You don't think they can just pull and drag the gear down? It's too steep drop, for sure. All right, well that was a total fail. Four o'clock, we gotta unpack everything again and try it on the other side <laughs> of the river. How are you feeling so far on the trip? Feel better. I think we're both hot and sweaty and we've barely even begun. It's a pretty big dam. Oh, now this feels good. Okay, we're getting away from the road. There's some wind now, you might get cool. You can just feel the relaxation rushing over me. So this is called Sunday Creek. Tamaracks are nicely yellow, probably fading by now, and they're about to fall. Look at that, it doesn't even want to fly away. the beaver now. Pick up speed. Can we do it? I don't know. Oh. Okay, that's terrible. Yeah. Should I get out? I don't know. We have to get out. I want to find a, a flat spot for a 12 by 12 tent. And you, it needs to be 12 feet? By 12 feet. That's very large for a flat spot. <laughs> and it needs to have soil that we can put stakes into. Okay, bon voyage! So the, the tent report doesn't look good up there for us? Only if we had a smaller tent. We're getting a little bit of a sunset. So 
this is our campsite here. We Our got best. a a mediocre fire pit. It's got a pretty good view though. It's got a good view out front. The worst campsite that we've probably picked almost ever. Except maybe some of the ones on the river in Tomogamy, which I just wasn't that big of a fan of. Yeah, so the Thunder Box is you can just see it in the woods there. It's about thirty feet away. Not much going on over the here. Campsite just really sucks. And we're gonna set up our camp, our big tent way over here. We've got a little bit of a flat spot. The fire's going thanks to this guy. Fire's going. It's hot Ross in here. is really hot because he was chopping all this wood. I'm still cold, but it is it has heated up like you wouldn't believe in here. There's a woodpecker pecking away outside. Uh. It's perfectly quiet, interrupted by this woodpecker. Oh, cool. Feeling adventurous and hoping to spot a moose, we set off for the Bittern Marsh to explore. I might be able to drop you on shore and just tackle it all myself and you can walk through the woods. So I'm gonna make my way to the creek and I'll kinda see you over there. Bring my coffee. <laughs> should I, should I uh... Just leave the paddle. You're wet? Well, I got so, like, because it's a little wet here. Oh no, oh, that's too bad. The creek's a little farther over than I, I thought. The question is, can I walk in there with my boots without getting a soaker? Huh. Yeah, I don't think this is a very good idea. It's quite deep here. Okay, I'm going to plan two. Top of the beaver dam here, and it appears to be a five or six foot drop down. It's incredible. Busy beavers.
Back at camp, we cooked hot dogs in boiled water for hot chocolate. It's actually healthy. We're going to do a cheers with our new Yeah, it's like oh, it's just oh. Yeah, just sip it. It's not bad. I haven't burned myself, but just don't like to gulp it. After soaking in the views, it was time to pack up camp and head home. Say goodbye to our campsite. Goodbye, fine campsite. It wasn't that fine. Speed. Woo. Okay. Yeah, just got out of there. So we managed to get another leak in the canoe here. This was on the way in. We actually went over a beaver dam and heard a crack. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that's what did it. So the lesson learned, if you're coming to the Sunday Creek, load and unload your gear on the bridge right beside the put-in here. Save yourself a lot of time.